What's going on guys, it's Paul here, and today we are doing our very first episode of Finding My Identity. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there are a lot like me and don't know exactly what you want to do when you grow up. Possibly you want to be a fireman or a policeman or a computer programmer or a video game tester, you don't know. But the only way to know is to try these things and test it out. And so that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be starting our tests on things we can do and things we might like to do as we get older and we grow up, or if we're already old like me, and there's other things I wanna find in life, we're gonna check that out. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna show you kind of what I've got going on in my garage and what my life has been like, and uh, give you an idea of who I am right now and who I might wanna be. Let me take a little walk through my garage, just kind of tight fit in here. You can kind of see I've got tools because I like to fix stuff and I love to do like work with my you know, hands and stuff like that, like handiwork, skill saw here and drills here, but they happen to be sitting right on top of a computer because that is another huge thing of my passion. And then we keep going and what do we got? We've got a telescope. Past the telescope, we've actually got a mining rig for Ethereum. Back in the corner, we've got tennis rackets. We've got Xbox. Up on the ceiling, we have bikes. Over in the corner, we have golf clubs. All these things are just things that, like, you know, I find interesting. Some things are things you can make a career out of. Some things are definitely not something you can make a career out of. But we're going to test all those theories today. So what we're going to actually be doing today, if I can grab these real quick, is these right here are hybrid cell batteries. The reason I've got these is because today we're going to test out if we want to be a mechanic. Right? I'm going to kind of teach myself how to fix my own car. My hybrid battery is starting to go dead and I know one of the cells is dead in it. So I thought, let me purchase a couple of batteries and see if I can fix it. Now this might seem crazy to some of you because it's an expensive piece of equipment, but why not try? Because if I can't fix it, it's broke anyways, right? So we're going to go and pack our stuff up and head over to the garage and we're going to start working on our car today and seeing if this is something we want to do in the future. So kind of giving you guys a rundown of what's going on today. Recently, my hybrid sensor had gone off and basically told me that my hybrid battery wasn't working anymore. Did a little bit of research into it and it turns out that when a hybrid battery goes out, you have to replace the whole thing. But I'm gonna try to step it up one notch and actually just replace individual cells within the hybrid battery. I believe there's like 26 or 29 cells that are in the battery. So instead of replacing each or the entire hybrid battery pack, I'm going to try to replace one individual cell, which costs like 30 bucks a piece, versus the entire pack, which runs just around three to four thousand dollars, which seems kind of crazy to me, since there's only 26 cells. At that point, that's like six or seven hundred dollars. So, oh, sorry. If the camera's kind of weird, I'm trying something new. I'm trying to actually run my gimbal in the car, so it's going to sway a little bit when I go into turns, because obviously it wants to stay stable. But I've got auto tracking on, so hopefully it kind of stays in my face. So we'll see how it goes, but I'm on my way over there right now. I'm going to probably stop and grab a bite to eat. And we're going to basically spend the day trying to fix my car for as cheap as possible. So we'll be back probably when we get over there. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm here with my dad and we're actually going to get start working on the car right now. As you saw, we got to put all the stuff out and now basically we're just going to dig right in. From this part, I'm going to basically break to a time lapse because it's probably going to be about two to three hours worth of work and there's no reason to sit there and spend all that time, so we'll be right back. Alright, so we got it all open. Whew, I'm tired. It's like 110 degrees out right now. Apparently, uh, California forgot to pay the air conditioning bill this weekend. So, anyways, we got it all open. Uh, it's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. All right, not harder, I should say. A lot more work than I thought it was going to be. But it's actually been pretty simple, relatively speaking. Hopefully, I can put the whole thing back together when I'm done. But I kind of show you. We've got the whole thing exposed now. Uh, basically, what I have to do is check each one of these individual little batteries here and make sure that they're all working or which ones aren't working. Replace them with one of those three over there, or three of those three, or. Hopefully just like one, and then I'll have some extras in case I ever have to do this again, which I hope I don't have to do for a long time. But we're still going. All right guys, so <clears throat> got all the batteries exposed. I've got all the cables exposed. Now it's time to start testing, and we're gonna take the time to find out exactly which one of these son of a guns is not working. Hopefully it's just one, it could be more. 
I did check all three of the new ones, and all three of the new ones are good, so that's a good thing. Right, now we're going to go ahead and switch this over to 9 volt because these are, I think, 7.2 or 8.2 volt batteries. So we're just going to go through and test them all one by one. This one's good. Uh, so number three. Those are good. 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 Okay, this one's a little low. But that one's already marked. That might be my problem there. Let's keep checking. I'm about two hours in. It was time for a break. So since the car's not working, I'm gonna walk over and grab some food at the local fast food spot. But let me tell you, we have a lot more respect for, you know, mechanics and the time and stuff they put in. I'll tell you right now, if someone tries to say a mechanic's overcharging them, they might be. But there's a lot of work that goes into this stuff. Granted, I'm doing a pretty tedious thing. Sorry about the, the noise as I'm walking down the street, but um, no, it's, it's a lot of work and it's taken a while. I said uh, two hours in, two and a half hours in, but I need to eat, so we're gonna head in and go get some food, and uh, yeah, we'll be back working on it shortly. All right, guys, so I decided to sit out here and eat and whatever and kind of talk to you for a second. I'm really interested in what you guys think about this, and if you, this is something you want to see me keep doing, uh, kind of finding things that people want to do and, you know, whatever, and kind of testing them out and seeing, like, maybe my opinions of it or maybe showing you something that you didn't know about it or anything like that. This is obviously my first one, so I'm kind of learning on how I want to film it and how I want to present it to you guys, as well as doing something I've absolutely never ever done before. Um, I should probably learn a little bit, at least a little bit. I am going to start eating, and uh, like I said, if this is something, if there's anything you can think of that you want to see me do, let me know. And if you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to you know hit that little thumbs up, and uh, I'm going to be coming up with a lot more stuff like this over the course I'm gonna try it for like once a week right now we'll see how that goes but if there's more stuff you want to see and you're brand new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and that way you'll know when I put stuff up but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and dig in Right, guys so here's the big test everything's hooked up everything's going we're hitting that power button right down there car is on trunk open well that's the only warning I got I'm okay with that man is required wait what oh oil change hey it's down to 97 degrees now so it's good to go I can go get an oil change that's not a big deal all right gonna think about going to LA but uh, I'm thinking against that now so hope you guys enjoyed what we did today and if you want to see more like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when we post next time we're gonna do about once a week but until next time travelers y'all know the deal I'm out of here peace